Hey everyone, welcome to Front of the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 41 of the Frigate Fracas Tournament. This episode we've got the Nautilus by Cheese Cannon, going up against the Black Pudding by Iron Fist, in the quarterfinals of the loser's bracket. So whoever loses here will be going home. Let's find out who it's going to be. Uh, I'm doing pretty decent myself, Harness, how about yourself? Oh, that initial cram volley landing several hits, but it looked like there were a couple of deflections as well. Let's see if the Nautilus's Sea Wiz is able to take care of any of those crams before they land when it's uh, actually in a good position to do so. Black Pudding's getting a bit chewed up by that Sea Wiz because of its thin armor. Ooh, nope. Nope, that Sea Wiz did not stop those crams. Not at that range. Oh man, I got sneeze. Woo, just barely got the mute button in time. <laughs> oh, and that's one heck of a volley into that big main gun the main the cram cannon on the nautilus one of the sea whiz has been disabled this front sea whiz has been disabled things are not looking good for the nautilus right now those crams are painful <laughs> reload time <laughs> oh wow those those crams uh, had some penetration on them there. Oh, well, this is just a big open compartment. That's why. But it looks like the engine not doing so well after that strike. <laughs> that torpedo went for a little stroll in the air and got shot down. Oh, I guess this isn't disabled. It was just reloading, too. I thought this gun was disabled. Oh wait, maybe it is. Is it firing? No, it's not firing. Okay. I thought I saw it firing a minute ago. Oh! Nautilus answering back with a few crams of its own. Oh, Black Pudding just shot the hell out of itself. Ooh, but look at all that confetti falling off the stern of the Nautilus. Taking crams up the stern was uh, not pleasant. Yeah, I know what I said. <laughs> but yeah, being dead in the water isn't great when your enemy's main gun is crams. It's a lot harder to make them miss when you're sitting still. All those blocks just cascading off of the Nautilus. Yep, that's the other cram. Oh no, that was the that was the cram cannon that was already damaged. I think this one I think is still operating. Yep, there it goes. Oh, we had a deflection there. I think it may have actually hit this little. Actually, I'm not sure where it hit. It hit something up here and bounced away. I have no idea what these guns are shooting at. Like, there's nothing over there. What are you shooting at? <laughs> Nautilus is listing. She's not doing too hot. Right? It's, there's the metal ship hull in there, and then it just has wood, a, a wooden sarcophagus, yeah, around it, basically. Yeah, you, 
get shredded. Reinforced wood is uh, not so great anymore. It was pretty good back in the battleship brawl. And armor stacking was better, but now not so much. And that's the end of round one. Wait! The black pudding went AI dead. It died. What the hell? How did that happen? You, that, like, that last shot we heard must have gone just, like, straight into the most perfect spot ever. What the... I, for a second there, I thought the Nautilus was dead. That's why I turned. That's why I turned the UI back on. But I was like, "Oh no, it's fine." And then the round ended, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, everything's good." Wait, the black pudding is dead. What the? All right. <laughs> so that's a sixty-eight point six for the Nautilus and a zero for the black pudding. Talk about last minute. Like. How? I want to go back and look at the footage later and see exactly what happened there because just that was out of nowhere. <laughs> anyway, round two. I'm pretty sure, sure the Nautilus doesn't have any torpedoes or anything like that, right, Cheese Cannon? It's just APS trams. Yeah, so they must have gotten off one final cram volley that was the luckiest cram volley ever. Talk about a devastating strike, right? To use a World of Warships term. Hemming boat. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're probably right. Detonation. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, you're right. Detonation is better. <laughs> but it really is a soft center pudding. <laughs> I really have no idea. Like, uh... After we close out the, the the battle for the YouTube, we're gonna have to, like, go back and look at the footage of that. Oof, just all of that wood and reinforced wood just collapsing from those fragment hits. They are indeed snipers, Will. It's just... The Nautilus just getting its core ripped out. How is that engine still alive? <laughs> Somehow the engine has become fully exposed but didn't actually take any damage. Having six of those heavy cram shells all land in close proximity to one another. Oh, I think one of these, yep, yeah, one of these barrels is gauge damaged. <laughs> I wonder if the Nautilus just like got a shell like in through the bow. 
Well, no, because there's a turret in the way there. That's definitely how it disabled damage that barrel, though. I, I have no idea how it did that. We're definitely going to have to take a look at the, the footage for that. Ah, so the AI is like right in here-ish. Wow, the, the Nautilus is in danger of breaking in half. Oh, I think the uh, Nautilus... Yep, now the Nautilus is AI dead. <laughs> Blech. So that is the end of round two. 87.3 for the uh, Black Pudding and a big old... Z Whoa, what? No, it's zero for the Nautilus, 87.3 for the Black Pudding. I almost wrote that wrong. This is the law of equivalent exchange. <laughs> Not quite what that means, but close enough, I guess. Also, just look at the difference in power between the, the cram cannons on these vehicles. Like, the Nautilus has crams, but they're kind of token crams that don't do a whole lot. They do fire more frequently, though. Oof. Oh, wow, that volley just took out that cram and the Sea Whiz. See what I mean about the difference? <laughs> yes, I know what it is, Max, but that's still not quite what it means. <laughs> So who's going to get AI deaded this time? <laughs> the loser of the match. Yeah? That's not wrong. Ooh, this cram just got smacked. I don't know if either of those barrels are functional anymore. That would be pretty funny if both of them AI did it this time. But given the uh, Nautilus only has a single Sea Wiz remaining. Oh, wait, no, it has the front one too. It has two Sea Wiz remaining. I, I don't think it's going to uh, manage that on the Black Pudding. has lost all of its propellers. <laughs> I'm doing good, Titan. How about you? Not all of them. Where's the other one? I don't see any propellers. I mean, I guess you if you count this a propeller... 
technically it hasn't, but you know. Does that really count? Yeah, Nautilus is in trouble. There, yeah. Oh. It, it's. Okay, it, up. Uh, okay. I think it's dead now. <laughs> um. You missed a surprise last second AI deading of the black pudding in the first round. Like, I was. I was about to call the match in favor of the black pudding and noticed, hey, wait a second, it's despawning. <laughs> yeah, Cheese Cannon said that it only spins like when a command to turn left is received or something like that. This fight did not go in the Nautilus's favor. Not at all. And that's the end of round three. That gives us a 54.8 for the Nautilus and 91.4 for the Black Pudding. Pudding pens designed if, if it was designed with Nautilus in mind. Yeah. Right. So Nautilus has a score of 41.1. Black Pudding, 59.6. So, it could have been a lot worse for the Nautilus, that's for sure. But that uh, that AI dead in round one kind of kind of brought things back to a potentially recoverable level via the vote. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.